There are many different ways to brush, comb, and bathe a Pomeranian, but in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay, stay tuned. Before we get started, I thought I would do a quick review on the tools that we're going to be using. I did take out this pin brush uh, to show you that this is more of a style of brush to be used on a show coat as opposed to a pet coat. It's probably not going to remove the amount of undercoat needed to maintain a pet coat. So we're going to put that aside and move over here to the slicker brush. Now slicker brushes come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. But what you're going to be looking for are the bent pins on the brush. And this seems to do the best job in removing undercoat. So we will be using a slicker brush and we're also going to use a metal comb because by the time we get done brushing out this little palm, it will glide right through the little palm and not get stuck on undercoat. Okay? This little girl is in the condition that most Pomeranians are in when they need to be groomed. She's got quite a bit of undercoat in here. However, it's not matted, and it looks as though she could use a little bit of trimming, but we can talk about that in another video. This video is going to concentrate on getting her bathed and brushed out. So typically what I will do before the bath is just go through them rather quickly if they don't have any matting, which in this case she does not and um, just sort of get out any undercoat that we can get out prior to her bath and then we will do a full line brushing on her once she is clean just to make sure that we've gotten out all the hair. So I've got this cutie laying in my lap and what I'm going to do is simply start up towards her head and go against the grain and just kind of work in layers and get out as much of this undercoat as we can get out. And as you can see, she's accustomed to having this done and is quite relaxed during this process. By having them on your lap, you can get under their armpits and between their back legs and it just makes it super easy. Also, once we get the whole underside done, then we can just simply turn her right side up and ask her to, you know, just relax on our lap again. And then again, we would start at the head and work our way down the body. What happens if you just simply brush over the top with the lay of the hair? It's not going to remove any of the undercoat. It's actually just brushing the top coat. But by doing it in layers and against the grain, you are actually um, working from the skin out on this type of coat. So again, we just start at the head and work our way down the body. Now that our little friend is in the bathtub, um, I wanted to explain that there's a couple of different ways we can do this. We can A, either just wet her down with some clear water before applying the shampoo, or what I like to do for the little ones is keep a little, they're almost a dish pan, um, thing along those lines. It's only maybe six inches tall. And I like to add a little warm soapy water in there, not too warm, uh, kind of tempered. And then we just sort of set the dog in there and wet them down all at the same time. Have does both things at once. It saturates the hair gets the shampoo all the way down to the skin and it's really quite relaxing for the dog. Now one thing I want to point out is you want to make sure obviously not to get the shampoo in the dog's eyes and you don't want to get excessive water in their ear so I kind of put their ear facing my hand this way just to kind of block the water from going down into their ear on this side and then I can get all underneath here with her head up high. She's sitting so nice for this, aren't you? 
So with her sitting in the water, she's actually soaking her tail and her rear feathers in a nice little bubble bath. And then another thing that I like to do is take a little bit of full strength shampoo. Now, just from behind the ears, because sometimes that area gets kind of oily. So by using a stronger solution behind her ears, it can eliminate that oil. Without getting anything in her eyes at all. And then speaking of her eyes, the other thing I like to do is take a little flea comb like this and I put it right in front of their eyes just to kind of clean up that hair there. It just kind of pulls out any little sleepies or stains or anything along that line. There we go. Yeah, that's nice and clean, huh, baby? I know. And what I'm doing here is just holding underneath her chin and going from behind her ears, getting her cheeks. I want to make sure we rinse all that off real good. And then kind of tilt her head forward a little bit. Forward and down. And then we can get our little muzzle and things like that. Now still we want to stay away from getting ear, or the water directly in the ear. And we certainly don't want to blast the water into their face. But we do want to make sure that the face gets clean. quite a bit of problems. Make sure all that soaks out.
pulling from the skin out once again. And you do this over their entire body. Grabbing just a little more hair each time and adding it to that line, making sure all the undercoat comes out. And if you look at my brush, there's a lot in there. So this may give you a better view. So as you can see, there's a line formed in her coat, and I'm literally just brushing away from that line. And I move down a little bit and do the same thing again. Brush away from that line. If you were to just brush on top of this hair, going in the direction that it grows, you aren't going to be pulling out from the skin. Um, literally, you would just be brushing on the top coat and then everything underneath would just mask. Okay, now this little girl is all bathed thoroughly brushed out. She's been combed. She could be done. Um, finished as far as grooming, depending on what you'd like to, you know, what you want to do, what you want to maintain. Uh, to keep a dog in this type of coat, it would require you extreme brushing at least once to twice a week. And, um, making sure that you can get the comb through each and every time that you brush just as easy as i'm doing right now which is absolutely just like butter going through